Uh, had a great week uh, this past week. You'll be hearing about it uh, in the message time. And so uh, looking forward uh, to sharing that with you. Let's go to our Savior in prayer. Hey, Jesus, we thank you. We not only thank you for this past week of, of the things you've been doing around here in Kings Creek, but also what you were able to do uh, on this uh, mission trip. And just a, a joy to have a, a church that supports um, being able to provide for students and adults the, the, these opportunities. But God, also, we look to the week ahead. Uh, fathers, our, our nation uh, celebrates uh, a, a birthday, as, as they call it. Um, and God, uh, help us to honor you in how we are good citizens. Uh, that uh, we are thankful for the freedoms we experience. But God, we recognize only true freedom is found in you through your son. And so that I thank you that we have the freedom to share that. And so, fathers, we sing some patriotic songs as well um, that, God, we just say it, it's from you. And may we take what you've given us and be good stewards. Again, thank you for this service. I pray in your name. Amen. All right. Let's stand as we sing the first verse of the Star Spangled Banner. Let's stand. have seen the glory.
us greet one another. As we make our way back to our seats, we'll be sharing with you some opportunities uh, coming up. <laughs> Good conclusion there, right in the middle of the song. Um, so uh, one, I mean, this is a holiday weekend, but I do want to just let you know we are going to be having our regular Wednesday programs, and that includes our kids' Bible club. It also includes uh, the Bible study um, and also includes choir. So just to let you know um, that so you don't miss any of that. And that's all at 6.30 for the first two, and then choir's at uh, 7.30 when we're done. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. So, uh, um, also, um, there is a, a terrific Tuesday uh, for our children uh, for uh, uh, July 11th, and uh, uh, again, the, the plan is is you know we we leave here at 10 and get back at 4 o'clock, and you can see all the different things. It's also in the bulletin. Um, here's one caveat on that. I just found out that the Blue Ridge Parkway is being repaved. I went online and it looked like that area of getting on, on uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway is, is one way only. That, that means they take, you take turns. So still should be able to have it, but I will, I will confirm that for, um, for July 11th. So uh, again, we'll still aim for, for that date. Um, and so those are just some of the immediate uh, uh, things that are coming up so that you don't miss but I also want to talk about some prayer needs uh, that, uh, th that we have. Uh, again, what I'll just put the first three up. Uh, and Doug said, take him off that. He didn't, he didn't want to associate with those people. No. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> see, they're over there. And <laughs> But please continue praying. Um, uh, Doug has uh, kind of uh, had a slight tear this week, and so uh, not a setback enough that he has to stay in the sling, but continue praying for you. Um, uh, Emily, son, and uh, uh, Cynthia's brother uh, just had his surgery the 30th, so he is, he's in that real painful time, so please pray for him. And uh, Mike, I see you there with your wing, so uh, continue praying for you as you, you recover. Um, uh, I, I just put them together because it's like, okay, everybody. Um, please uh, continue to pray for, for, for Robert in, in cancer and some heart issues. And um, also uh, Barry, who's, who's again has a long, long, long rehab uh, ahead of him at Autumn Care. And uh, Michelle, and I keep, she, she moves every time. She's in the back right there. Our, our, we will continue praying for your healing and, uh, and your strength uh, to be able to do as God wants you to do. So our prayers for you and Mike uh, in, in that. Um, and then uh, I was given that this morning. Uh, is that a neighbor, family? Okay. Okay, okay. Right, and now, now leg... 
Okay, so uh, pray for, for Milton in that, recovering from that and, and adjusting uh, in, in that. I, I believe that's the last one on there. So, um, I, nope, there she is, Linda. Uh, continue to pray for Linda as she recovers from her hip surgery. Um, and then I have a couple others that didn't make it on the, sheet, on the, the, the screen. Um, and um, uh, Faye and her husband, Leonard, um, they um, b both have different prayer requests. And uh, this is um, family I know of, of uh, uh, the Hedricks and some others. But um, she had a, has a tear in her colon. He experienced seizures uh, this past week and is hospitalized. So pray for both um, Faye and her husband, Leonard. And then also um, Sarah asked if we can pray um, for her father-in-law, Wayne. And uh, he has had falls, and he is staying at Hickory Falls for uh, rehab. So, so those are some of the updates that I have. Other prayer needs this morning. Yes, sorry. Okay, I was wondering the timing of that. So, and I didn't know if that was public news. So, so now it is. Um, so, pray, pray for Mike. And again, what day is that? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, pacemaker. Okay. All right. Yes. My friend Dottie Michael just had a pacemaker last week. Okay. Okay. All right. Bless you. And on that note, we'll pray. <laughs> Jesus, um, we come to you. We come to you with these, these physical needs. Father, these two that just were mentioned, uh, Dottie and having had a pacemaker and just full recovery from that procedure as well as things working as it should. We pray uh, along with Caroline and family for Mike and um, especially this Thursday as he has the pacemaker um, uh, implanted. So I pray for him. We lift up uh, Sarah's father-in-law, Wayne, and for his recovery. We pray for Faye and Leonard uh, with their medical needs as well. God, I pray for, for Doug and Mike and Mike as uh, they recover from their shoulder surgeries. Help them through the pain, help them through the rehab and being able to have uh, full use. Jesus, I do pray, Father, for Robert, uh, who's been prayed for a lot with his cancer and, and heart issues. We just continue to pray for him. For Barry, as he recovers, uh, help him, help his family. Father, for Michelle, again, asking what only you can do, and that is full healing. So we pray for her, and we pray for Mike, and we pray for, for the strength for her and the healing for her. Uh, we pray um, uh, for, for Milton and this leg amputation. Father, help, help him as he adjusts uh, to being able to get around without that limb. And we continue to pray for Linda. Help her as she is recovering from her hip surgery. Now, Father, we pray also for those who have other needs. Uh, Father, more along the lines of spiritual needs. Father, freedoms from, from addiction. Uh, Father, um, coming to know you as our Lord and Savior. Uh, Father, homes that are in turmoil. Uh, we turn to you for these. With Jesus, we again pray especially for those who need to know you. We pray for our nation. We pray for the needs that she has, and they are many. Help us to be a nation whose God is the Lord. We are far from that. But help us as you turn to your people to be the ones to humble ourselves and to pray and to seek your face. We pray in your name. Amen. Let's
stand to sing the next song. My country, tis of thee. seated. There will not be, there it is, uh, um, uh, children's worship, wanted to let the children uh, be included in uh, watching uh, and, and seeing, maybe going, one day that's going to be me. So uh, uh, again, uh, just that's in the bulletin, but uh, that was a, a kind of a last minute change to include them. Um, and so uh, we had... Uh, so that's not that one. Um, uh, we had a, a great week uh, going to the area of Fair Bluff, which is really where kind of, you know, it's, it's a huge area that's and, and, uh, of Whiteville and, and uh, other, other communities that are there. But first of all, before we get started, I want to thank this church uh, for the support you've given, uh, all the meals that uh, you went to after the service, and... and um, and some of you were very generous in, in giving. Uh, for, for those also who helped with some of the other fundraisers, I remember the Fiddler's Convention uh, and being able to raise a couple thousand just, just by, by doing that. And so, um, again, financial help, uh, the encouragement, uh, but most of all the prayers uh, as, uh, as we, we went. I would like to ask for all those who participated in that, whether the whole week or part, uh, <laughs> to uh, make their way to the front pew. That'll make it easier um, to be able to, to share now, in, in past years, I've had everybody stand up and they played past the mic um, <laughs> to, to the others. Uh, I'm going to actually share, let them share as we're looking at some of the, the slides that, sh that um, go, with, um, go with some of the projects that they've had. Um, and, and there's some that were by themselves. I'm going to have them stand up together uh, and, 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 and be able to support because they're scared to death to stand up and look at everybody. So uh, any, anyway, um, at least some might be. I don't know. So, um, so first of all, uh, these are um, uh, the ones that you sent. You sent 14. How many do you count up there? How many? There's 15. There's 15 because uh, it wasn't the original plan, but Josh, um, uh, Candy's and my son, was able to join us uh, because he was he's working full-time uh, on, on their summer staff 
uh, and he goes to site to site to site to site, and I'm glad he had this week off, and he is too. Um, it's a uh, grueling hour. So I'll have him share a little bit uh, in just a moment. Uh, but we just, uh, this is the, the crew you sent. We left uh, Saturday morning at 8 o'clock and, and got there around 2, 2.30, and uh, uh, signed signed in. And, and what's neat, because, you know, we, we, we're a, a close group, you know, uh, just being able to hang out this first, first night as we're getting ready to have the, the what, what they call the worst the worst food of the week um, uh, for dinner, and that was just pizza, you know, but actually it was pretty good e even that, but uh, here we are getting ready uh, uh, to go to that. Um, there's a, a couple people who are not here. Um, uh, 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 Gabby had to uh, be at work, um, and Elise is not feeling well. That was a common theme throughout, and I'll share more about about that. Uh, so, you know, you got, you know, got people to come together and, and uh, to, to greet and, uh, and there's Riley. Um, so, uh, <laughs> and uh, great, great, great shot, great shot there. Uh, I want to say the three amigos, but uh, anyway, that's, it's going to other things. But here's something else that got to happen. Families got to go together and that was neat. Um, uh, both both uh, Alan and Cove were, were able uh, to go uh, to 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 this and experience this uh, to, together. Um, you, you, we got the surprise of our son being with us, but just being able to serve with my wife uh, and and in these times for the longest time, I'd go away on these mission trips, leaving her with the kids. And so I'm glad the last few years we've been able to be uh, together. Um, Robert, Georgiana were, were able to come uh, and, and with their son, Nathan. Um, and uh, again, that's just kind of neat to, to have that together. Um, we have somebody in the middle here, but you, you have Sharon and Elise, uh, again, mother-daughter, experiencing this together. And that's just a, a, a neat thing. Um, and then uh, Sabrina and uh, Nora and Benjamin uh, being able to do this. Sabrina unfortunately got sick um, and had to leave after the first day of work. Was it Monday or Tuesday? Wednesday. Okay, so she had two days in, in of work. I couldn't remember what. Uh, um, it's, it was a blur after that. So, uh, but uh, we're glad you got to go that much. And, um, but uh, again, it's just a neat thing to experience. Um, I, I think both with uh, um, um, Georgiana and, and Sabrina is your first time, and before you just you sent them, but now to experience it with them, yeah, you, yeah, like, so that's my brain. It doesn't work. Um, so it's just a, just a neat time uh, together. Now they they break us up into. Well, let me just be, before I call a couple people up. Um, the the. Um, let me just let you know, because a lot of people are like, ah, the youth, they're going off. And later on, yes, there's going to be a couple beach pictures. Yes, it's a half a day we get to go, um, you know, to that. But uh, here, here's our schedule. Be at breakfast at 6 in the morning. You know, so, I mean, that's just, we're not fooling around, you know. So, I mean, my watch alarm went off at, at 5, and, and then others got up later. Um, but, uh, uh, and, and going to breakfast and, 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 and getting ready. And then by 7.30, actually 7.15, we're sent off. Um, and, and so uh, uh, some weren't sent off far. They worked there. Uh, I, I think I had a 30-minute drive to mine, and I'm not sure what some of the others, but about that in certain things. So um, this is um, one crew, and um, I'm going to ask if, if uh, Alan and Cove and Candy, if they would come up. This is their crew, um, and uh, there's just a few pictures here, and I, I can go back and forth on that, but the thinking about what you'd like to share. Um, they, they, they basically um, sanded furniture and then um, um, repainted uh, the furniture. Um, you know, that was at the children's home. Again, saving time, saving money for that. So, um, Alan, you're holding the mic, so I'll let you share about your experience, not just that, but the whole week. Okay. Well, good morning. It's good to see everybody. It's great to be home. Great to be back with our families and most of all our church family as well. Um, like Pastor Randy said, we didn't get to go out into town, so we stayed at the boys and girls school, and our work was sanding and painting beds. It seems like it's not that big of a job, but it actually is pretty tiring. I haven't done that in a long time, so 
Um, for us, um, the greatest thing that I found out of all that was because we didn't get to go out into the communities, we didn't get a chance to really evangelize to people in the community. So our experience was with the young teens from the other churches and also a few of the boys and girls from the girls' boys and school homes. So um, that was kind of our mission field, evangelizing to them. But um, the boys and girls that were with us from the school, a lot of these kids have been through a lot, and it was really sad to hear some of their stories. Hold it closer. There we go. Got it now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a lot of them have been through a lot of things. Um, hearing their stories was, was kind of heartbreaking, and um, it was good for them to be with us and to be part working and kind of having a little normal normalcy in their lives. And in the beginning, they were really nervous. They didn't want to talk. They kind of secluded themselves. But as the days went on, they started opening up and interacting with everybody and getting involved. But uh, they, they worked very hard, very, very hard. And um, to see them smiling and laughing and playing and being with other children their age, that, that was just such a huge, huge blessing, um, knowing their stories and what they went through. So. Um, I, I had a wonderful time, and I would encourage anybody, if you're able to go, if you can be a part of it in any way, shape, or form, there's so many people out there that needed to hear the work of Jesus Christ on the cross and hear the word, and um, the encouragement that we all shared with other people, and the young children, and the adults, and sharing testimonies, and everyone's stories, and their walks, and the things that they've been through. It, it was amazing to be a part of it, and I would encourage, again, anybody, if you can ever be a part of it, it, it it's, it's amazing. And um, it was fun to go to the beach. That, that was nice. It was a little rough. The weather was coming in, but we, we had a great time. And, um, yeah. All right. Let's see if does he have anything. You got anything you want to say? It was a good experience. All right. Man of many words. <laughs> Um, obviously, we were on the same team. Um, uh, I got to uh, be with the middle school group again, so obviously I didn't pass the test last year, so. <laughs> uh, but it was good. We really had um, a good time. I got to learn how to, to sand furniture, which was fun, and um, painting was good. Um, it was very good to spend time with um, all the kids there, the youth there. They worked so hard. Um, they were really good at just putting their heart into it. And even, you know, like you said, the kids from the home, they were in there working. We had some uh, younger ones with us, and they were so excited to jump in and paint. And, um, and it was good just to build relationships with them and to get to talk to them. Um, and to see Cove, he was a hard worker. Um, and good at interacting with the kids, because he would be out there playing soccer with the boys, you know. And, um, I think that was a really good thing. Took some hard hits, didn't you? <laughs> but he did um, great. Um, so it, it really was um, a good week, and God worked on me a lot throughout the week and taught me a lot of good things. Um, but this morning in my quiet time, you'll have to hold the Bible for me because I can't hold in this. I start shaking. I know when God wants me to share things, I start to shake. So, <laughs> um, so this verse was um, what I read. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. And I think that's what we did this week. Um, to give thanks to him regardless of what squad you're on or what project you have, to thank him because that's where he wants you to be. To call on his name because you needed that strength um, and encouragement. Uh, to tell of, uh, to make his name, mo no, his name known among the nations. We were there to do that for the kids, to witness to them, to be a light to them, to sing praise, for we sang praise this week, and it was awesome. Um, and to tell of his wonderful acts, the things that he has done in our life. And so it, that was good for us, but I think not just for the mission trip, but for all of us every day, that we should give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, uh, make his name known among the nations every day. Sing praise to him and tell of his wonderful acts. That's mine. And thank you guys for supporting us and so we could do this. It was a blessing. Thank you.
right. This is the way to hold a mic. <laughs> Aim it at you. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All righty, just, just let's go. Um, I'm going to ask for, for Sharon and um, also, I think, Georgiana. Sabrina, I don't have pictures of your work squad because I, I yeah, I, I wasn't sure which one yours was. And also, um, Robert, if you'll come up. And uh, I only have like one slide, so if you can share what what your crew did and everything, and and as as God leads. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, um, we uh, my crew squad. I'm going to look at the picture so I don't look at y'all. <laughs> um, our squad painted the kitchen and the cafeteria for the home that was on the other side of where Candy and the rest of them were putting painting the beds. And um, we had two of the young girls from the home with, working with us. Both of them just spoke Spanish. So the um, squad leader she would uh, um, on, she had an app on her phone, so she would communicate that way with the girls. They were really hard workers, and um, there was another young lady that's uh, a young mother that in the on the wall on the opposite side of that that would be where I am, just on down. She is painting a. Thank you. I can say that word. A picture, a beautiful picture of um, sunflowers and a, um, a tractor and just putting scriptures on there and it's just going to be beautiful. I don't know if you post. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, so one wonderful experience we had, um, we went to, our squad went to cookout for to get milkshakes and when we were as we were walking in this this man was walking out it's a, it was a unique cookout didn't have any seating it would just just had it you walk in the building you make your order and you walk out well this man was coming out without anything so the contractor leader in our group just said hey you want me to buy you some food so him and the, the man went outside and talked. It was just a God moment. The, um, the man shared his whole life story. Um, he was in prison. He was there looking for a job at cookout and just was, had been looking and looking, going different places and been turned away. Um, sorry. <laughs> he was a Christian, but he was in such a dark place. And, um, but thankfully, the contractor, you know, had the Lord just revealed to him, talked to this man. He, um, he bought him food for him and his daughter and also brought back some money because he needed rent for that month. And um, uh, we prayed with this man and it was just, it was just beautiful. Now the Lord, we were just there at the right moment, and the right time to give this man encouragement to hang on and then just to support him and to pray for him. And, um, yep, it was wonderful. Oh, anything else? Okay. Actually, right. Riley, do you come up too? Because it's the only picture I have of you. Sorry. <laughs> we'll do them in order. So, Riley, we got a spot for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Oh, thanks. It's okay. Um, so uh, every day of the week, uh, the squads, you know, uh, had a, kind of a contest to see who got to wear the hat. So apparently my group won that the first day. So nobody else wanted to wear the hat. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to wear the hat. And uh, yeah. And uh, uh, we built a ramp. Yeah, so we built a ramp, and uh, me and my crew, we worked uh, well, uh, very well together, and uh, it was a great experience to see how it uh, affected the homeowner in a great way. There you go. 
Uh, Josh, I'm sorry. You too. You too. I can't remember what what videos I put up. <laughs> Y'all just come back up. Just kidding. Might as well get everyone up here at this point. All right. Uh, so um, I'm part of the uh, national summer staff uh, for Mission Serve, and um, I was very honored that I could work with my church group this week. Um, I was originally going to be working in, I think, LaGrange this week, and uh, God just said, no, you're going to go to Fair Bluff, and it was just such an honor just to just to work with my family church. Um, I've always wanted to work with them because they're just, they're just, they make me happy and all that. And it just gave me the encouragement to, to work the full week and do everything right. And just give me the encouragement because the week before I went to Walterboro and we had 321 kids and it was just a nightmare for me and a nightmare for my, for my partner. And um, just having, an amazing church family group just gave me encouragement at the, encouragement throughout the whole week um, was just a great opportunity and and I love my job I love I love as you can see me with a for, with a little camera do my my job my everything and I just love um, just giving people an opportunity to do ministry and just seeing. Um, I mean, all these pictures up here are pictures that I took, and just seeing, I want to have the kids see their faces, you know, be lightened up by, oh, that's me, that's me, that that dude with the camera, I always forgot his name, whatever his name was, that he took a picture of me, and just seeing just the joy in the kids, um, or more, more like the youth, I should say, um, just seeing their faces and the video that I make at the very end of the week and just saying, oh, that's me that's in the video and just want them to have them come back next year and just enjoy Mission Serve and everything. So um, prayer for um, this week I get a week off. So thankfully, because I'm exhausted, but next week I go down to Mobile, Alabama, and then the next week I go to LaGrange. So just prayer for uh, strength, peacefulness, and um, just the Lord's will. So, here you go. Let's see who's next. It's actually me. Um, so let me share mine. Yeah, she's like, why are we up here? Because I, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. Ben's yes, Ben, there. come up here with me. <laughs> Actually, you, Riley, Josh, you want to head down? Because I just wanted y'all to stand up here longer. Yeah, thank okay, thanks, thanks. Um, um, we, we, we are one of the other uh, did a ramp. Uh, group, uh, but just a story about story behind it, so you know. You know, again, I don't know exactly how they they pick w whatever, but we were able to to uh, go to a a, um, uh, a lady and her husband, and she's getting ready to have surgery that um, will cause her to be in a wheelchair, um, and this is this is her route out of her house so that's that's uh, an impossibility so you know that's just kind of the, the back story uh, she's a believer in Christ so is her husband and you know so you know again one of the goals is you know you you do what you do so you can also share but uh, sometimes it's about helping the fellow believer in Christ uh, and just so just a real quick thing and then I'll, I'll let you talk if you want. Do you want to talk today, this time? Okay. Um, um, so, you know, just real quick of, of building, building a, a, a ramp. Uh, Gabby, again, she, has, she was at work. She was also on Ben's and my, my crew uh, uh, serving um, and uh, getting things. It's so funny. The, 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 um, I'm actually putting a, a bolt in there and stuff like that. I think it was the one that missed um, so they had to redo it, but anyway, but uh, I, I, I can work. I also dug two holes that needed to be filled in. Um, so just, I was, I wouldn't get enough exercise, right? Right, exactly. So I had been, uh, been do a lot of the, the digging for me. Um, and uh, so, so there's Ben and uh, Gabby together, along with a guy named Joe. Joe paid me one of the highest compliments. Uh, we were working, this is not probably the day four and, and stuff like that, and, and, and he, you know, he, he was, he had met Josh and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, yeah, Josh, he's 20. And I was, I was uh, 39 when, when he was born. Do the math. And he just, no way, no way. 
I thought you were 35. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Woohoo! Yeah. Um, I'm not, and I really felt it this week, one, one, one year to the next decade. So um, anyway, because you just already did the math. Um, but uh, again, uh, it was a neat, it's neat because you meet, you meet believers that are on your crew, you know, from other churches, and, you know, the first, first day you're like, when you're assigned, you're like going, who are these people? But, and again, you've heard this year after year, you know, at the end, what a tight connection that you have serving together with total strangers as well as serving together with people who aren't total strangers. So, so um, again, this is the, the finalized uh, uh, of that um, a ramp that we were able to work at. And, and here is, here's the couple. They're there in the middle. Um, um, and again, he, he also has a couple places in cancer um, in, in him. And so just being able to help, and that's the whole crew uh, to, together. Now I think, Georgiana, yours is next. Nope, it's Robert. Robert, here you go. Robert, come more so the camera doesn't have to move. Poor guy. Now again, Ben, are you sure you didn't want to? You're good. Okay. Uh, good morning. Um, as you can see, I had a funny hat on that my crew loves, so... They uh, started naming me Roberto, which I went by Roberto all week. Um, it was a joy to be there. Uh, this is my fifth mission trip. Uh, the ramp that you see there that we completed at the end, the uh, young lady we worked for, her name was Miss Hazel Johnson. She was a widow. She was 86 years old. And um, first things first on this ramp. So there was a set of stairs there. I didn't take a before picture. But you don't see it, but directly across the, beside her is where her sister lives. Her sister is um, disabled also. She is in a wheelchair and only has movement for her neck. Miss Johnson and her sister hardly ever talk because it's so hard for Miss Johnson to get over there. So after we built this ramp, it was the first time her sister had been able to go inside of Miss Johnson's house. Mm -hmm. So she got to come up the ramp, her sister did, go into her sister's house and talk. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. I had middle schoolers. They were uh, 12 and 13 year old. I love that group because unlike the college students, they would admit they don't know anything. The college <laughs> students know everything, so you can't teach them nothing. So the 12 and 13 year olds, uh, they learned well. I had. Uh, Three girls that I worked with who I taught how to use a table stall, a drill, and it was refreshing. Uh, our crew leader, Tim, he's an electrician in Reedsville, North Carolina. He has a problem with working with people. He works by himself and he's, it's really hard for him to work with other people. So I think the good Lord put he and I together because I said to myself before I went, I told Georgiana, I said, I'm an operations NCO in the Army and I like to direct. And I told her I'm going to be still and keep my mouth shut this week and let somebody else direct. But when I got there, Tim told me, he's like, I can't really do this. I have a problem with directing people. And I said, okay, Lord. <laughs> so then I kicked in and I did my job. And uh, so we were perfect. He worked individually by himself and making sure things were done right on the ramp. And I did direction. So it worked out well. Uh, my group was amazing. Had a young boy who gave his testimony. Um, when he was 12 years old, he was bullied in school. Mm. And uh, he had made a decision to kill himself. Mm. And he had found the Lord and um, gave his testimony. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Our group was great. Uh, Miss Johnson was great. The church was great that fed us. We eat like kings for a week. Uh, Hallsboro Baptist Church is the name of the church and their pastor. It was a wonderful experience, and thank you all for allowing us to go. Your children are wonderful. We had no issues from anybody all week. Uh, they were great. I met Staff Sergeant Ned for the first time. Uh, the Lord put us together. Uh, he and I have a lot of the same problems with, uh, with what we've been through in our lives, and uh, I think the Lord put us together. It was wonderful being with my family. I've always wanted to go with Georgiana and Nathan. And uh, I hate Ali didn't get to go with us. I've been with Ali on a trip, but uh, it was wonderful being with them and worshiping together. Last thing I'll say, I know I'm getting long-winded. Um, my group was 13 kids and three adults. 
So the last night we sat with our crews, uh, 11 out of our 13 kids went down to the altar mm. and they prayed together with their hands on their backs. And it was such a blessing to me. You know, I'm a big E7 in the Army and I'm sitting there crying like a baby. And um, it was wonderful to see how the Lord worked with us, our family, and the kids that we worked with and our crew. They wouldn't talk to each other by the first day, but by the end of the week, they were best friends. And it was great to see you. And thank you all for allowing us to go. I don't know who's next. It's finally oh, Georgia. No, this is where, there you go. There it is. I only have two pictures of before and after. Yeah, so, I just sent a couple. So. so that's before um, and that's after. Right. So this is our before picture. We were, I worked on a ramp, and you don't see me in these because I was on a crew with almost all college students. And I did not get in the middle of them doing the physical labor. <laughs> so I was kind of, I just made sure they had sunscreen and water. And uh, we had two, uh, we had a boy and a girl from the boys and girls home with us. And um, I got to spend most of my time uh, talking with them when they weren't working on the ramp. Uh, our homeowners were both um, already Christians and um, the house was out in the middle of nowhere, so we didn't have any kind of uh, neighbors to go and talk to. So I really feel like God put us just there to talk to those, um, the kids from the boys and girls home. Um, they have to come out with a, um, a leader from the, from the children's home. I keep wanting to call it the Baptist children's home and I, it's not, I've done that all week. Um, and the leader at the end of the week told us that um, they had really seen a difference in both of their attitudes um, as far as how they were uh, speaking to other people, as far as just their, um, just their general attitude. Um, as the girl went home as, with a trial, um, going, I guess just a trial going back home. I don't know what they really call it, but she and her brother, she had an older brother and a younger brother were all three staying at the boys and girls home and they had been there for a good while. I don't know exactly why they never, they did not share their stories with, it, with us, either one. But um, I think they um, definitely, we definitely had the opportunity to plant seeds with both of them. And um, uh, that was a very, it was a very important ex experience. We built a really big ramp. It was a 60 foot ramp and our homeowner was uh, so appreciative and um, they were just the sweetest people um, he's a type 1 diabetic and probably late I'd say late 50s he's not much older than me and um, is having just he's not in a wheelchair yet but he's having a lot of trouble with his legs and um, rides around on his lawnmower in his yard <laughs> so um, he said someday he, he said I know the wheelchair is probably coming someday but he um, he was very appreciative of that but um, it was a, just a wonderful experience, and um, the worship was fantastic. It was a, a great experience to worship with all of you. Um, I had a, a further experience in that I took my work computer with me, I took my laptop, and I did not open it all week. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a, um, something that has not happened in probably 10 years. Um, when I go on vacation, when I go, on any anything, if when I've had surgery, when I've been, when I'm sick, I always do that, and um, God just did not, just took the desire away from me to do that on this trip, and I actually had the, the opportunity to rest my mind from that, and it was very nice. So, thank you, thank you. You can hand it to her because we don't have any pictures from your side. No. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? What? He, uh, we're not in the camera anymore. Yeah. Okay. Um, so some of you have already heard that I had to go home midweek. I had to call my mom and dad to come get me from camp. Um, <laughs> I got sick on Saturday um, in a rainstorm. I may or may not have made a smart aleck comment about catching pneumonia. And then by Saturday night, I was sick. So I didn't get better, didn't get better, and um, finally just gave in and had them come get me on Wednesday. I'm very grateful that they're able to do that. So for whatever reason, I needed four hours in the car with my parents. Uh, that happened this week. 
Um, <clears throat> I want to thank you for letting us go. It was a great trip with my kids, what I got to um, be there. And now that Ben's old enough to go, all seven of my kids have gone on mission trips with the church. And um, I want you to know that it impacts these kids and the adults who go for forever. My adult kids talk about going on the mission trips all the time. So um, just thank you for letting us go. And our um, worship theme, our Bible uh, verses centered on the theme of rescue this week and like Jordana was saying she had to kind of just get away from her work uh, I don't know the reason for me to be sick and have to leave in the middle of the week but it's hard sometimes to allow yourself to be helped it's hard to allow yourself to be rescued it's hard sometimes for these homeowners to allow you to come in and build a ramp for them that they don't want they don't want to have to use a ramp um, so I really felt like God blessed me this week with what I was able to do the homeowners I was with um, spent some time with them they are raising a great granddaughter um, Whatever that story is, you know there's something to it if great-grandparents are raising their great-granddaughter. So pray for them. And the husband has been diagnosed with dementia, a very active family and pretty young in their late 60s. So um, the, the mom there, her name's Miss Shelley, really needs our prayers because she is uh, caregiving for a traumatized child and a husband going through dementia. So just pray for them. All right. And for those who don't know, not only were like little families of, of uh, parents, but sisters. So uh, that's, that's great. That's great. Y'all got to serve, serve together. All righty. Uh, at the Baptist Children Home, uh, they, we, we not only helped uh, two-legged people, um, we got to help four-legged. I'm transitioning. I'm transitioning. So not only did we get to help two-legged creatures, but four-legged creatures uh, across the street from the, the Baptist Children's Home, um, they have a, a, a horse place. I don't know what you call it, ranch. Um, and, um, and so which way do I need to go? This way? I'm now in the middle of the camera. All righty. So I, um, so, um, uh, I want to have Nathan and uh, Nora and Elise also was on this. Let me just show you the video, not the video, the, 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 the pictures first. Um, that way you can kind of see what they, they were working on. Uh, first of all, a picture of that's just the land. I'm not sure what the tractor was doing, but I'll let you tell. It's, dig it's digging the holes. Ben, ben, wouldn't that have been nice? They're actually, they're actually in the wrong place, so we did have to. Yeah. Oh, you did have to. Okay, all right. I'll let you, you share all that. Um, you know, and then the, the basic structure. Um, uh, there, there's uh, the only picture I have of Nora, uh, other than with her mom, because she normally she took most of these pictures. Obviously, not this one. Um, and there's Elise working on it, as well as as Nate, and um, uh, just the structure coming together. Uh, Nate balancing with his life and, 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 uh, um, and then and I, again I'm not even sure what the structure is for but I'm going to let them I think that's the last picture of it so I'll let you guys share about uh, your your group and and uh, so what God uh, did. more or less we built a horse walk through and it was just like a like a stable or a shed without the backing so that they could just walk through it and uh, it was a, it was a great experience I had a good week and uh, we, we got really close super close with our squad and uh we had a great time at the devotions during lunch and just sharing everything. Uh, thank y'all for letting us go. <laughs> she says, you know better, you know better. Now, um, did you have um, uh, any boys and girls from the home with y'all? I, I wasn't sure about that because it was on site. But, uh, but again, this is also, I think, a revenue source, uh, the, the horse thing is a re source of revenue for the children's home. They have four shows on the weekends. And they have shows on the weekends and yeah, all righty, all right. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, Wednesday we had, now again, just uh, let me go over the schedule again. Uh, Wednesday, um, um, well, we start at six, we get back off the work site at four um, and then you know, your normal 
recovery shower, all that other stuff. We'd have worship in the evening, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. But on Wednesday, we only had half a day of work, and, um, and so we were able to go to uh, a beach. We were able to, to go to actually a military uh, recreational area because we had a couple people from the um, military with us, and that meant showers after the beach because if you've ever been to the beach, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and so it just, uh, just a couple, you know, people. Um, uh, I think Al mentioned something about the waves being, I mean, it was incredible. Um, uh, we, had, we had rocks this big hit our legs because of the thrust of it. So uh, um, anyway, this, so why didn't you get out? I don't know. Um, now, now, here's Riley. And there was that earlier picture of Riley. You know, he took his work with him to the beach. Um, uh, so uh, having a great old time. Didn't have his hard hat that day. But, um, but uh, anyway, just uh, having a good old time. And, and this is what the ladies did. Um, they watched us. Um, and so, uh, again, we had, it, it, was, it was a good relief to get away and, and eat, eat out afterwards. Um, uh, they got a little cart and, and the whole crew got on. The, the young, younger ones got on that and had a good, good time. Um, we would have, again, the, the, uh, the, the boys and girls home have a, a, a big chapel and we were able to be there um, and, and share. Uh, the guy talking in the middle was our, what's called the PC, project coordinator. Um, he is also, uh, I guess, Josh's um, immediate boss. He has a boss over him, but uh, um, and, and stuff. But he was also the one who kind of coordinated uh, the, the logistics and, and the running of the camp, um, as well as with some help, especially with the, the project, um, the projects that had to be done. Uh, I want to focus in a little on the cross because it kind of looks a little funky to you. Um, uh, during the Thursday night uh, service, um, was an opportunity of praying for. Um, lost loved ones, praying for people that are, God put on your heart. Um, and so kind of at the end of that service, it, it wasn't so much for, for you to go down because you need the Lord, but, but for maybe somebody who's back at home or, or a, a classmate or whatever. Um, and so there was a, a, a time of service where we, you know, went down, and that's why there's paper all over it. Later on, they took the paper, left the nails, and I wanted to explain that because it kind of looks like a real, real, um, you know, you'll see it in the, in the video, uh, and you'll understand now why there's nails all over the cross. But again, just symbolically saying, Jesus, I, I give this person to you. They need to know you. And so a time of prayer as well as symbolically uh, doing that, a real special, uh, special moment because it was beyond the week. It was, it was what about when we go home? What about when we um, go home? Um, I, I, I had, I, I couldn't get a picture. This guy is, um, was our camp, I call it camp pastor, but he was the speaker this, this week. Uh, he was a youth pastor, or uh, is a youth pastor for 20 years. Which that says a lot. I only survived seven and a half years. Um, but he has no plans on changing. And, and what was really, I mean, I've been to a lot of these. Um, and to me, he was one of the best speakers. Um, I, I, I talked to him one night after, after that. And I just said, thank you. I can tell there is depth beyond what you were sharing. Um, and uh, just truly, you know, a servant of the word. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of people say, just a youth pastor. But no, he, he, he taught the, the youth the word. And he taught us the word um, this, this week and challenged us greatly. Um, you'll see a little bit, but not hear anything with the video that we'll be watching shortly. But uh, so we had that. We had uh, the meat of the word shared with us. Um, uh, every night except for Wednesday night uh, when, we, when we did our half day. Um, and so, and after, and you can't really see it too well because um, uh, it starts getting dark, but after the service, then we would go as our church group and we would have a time of sharing, um, a small group time. And um, that was our spot. And so um, just uh, time to share what God was doing uh, day by day uh, in, our, in our lives. Um, and that was... Yesterday morning, just before we headed off the sunrise, and I thought, that's a pretty picture. You know, I took that. So, um, um, so that was a week. I want to show, it's about a five-minute video, 
and it kind of goes through the week. You'll see bands pulling off and dropping kids off to, to uh, you know, some of the worship times as well. So, um, and uh, there's a couple interviews. You might recognize a couple people in that. And uh, this, this uh, video comes to you through Josh, uh, who had to coordinate all the videos and, and uh, putting it all together. Oh, I want to come back to that, okay? The reason I chose Mission Surf uh, for uh, our youth group, uh, it started several years ago. I was looking for something that um, was a good balance of both mission opportunity as well as spiritual building up. And what I loved about Mission Surf was, yes, you're working hard during the day, but there's always worship, um, always God's Word uh, being presented. And so I had a great balance of both. What made me come to Mission Serve was I wanted to serve for God, be able to worship with my friends and meet new people and have a new experience with God. To a friend, I would say it's a great experience, especially you know, if you don't know what you're doing yet in life or don't really know about Christianity, it's a great experience and you learn a lot.
So, so Belina mentioned the, the theme of the, the week was rescue. Um, and um, each night, one of the Bible stories was a God rescuing moment. Uh, you have the, the, the typical, you know, rescuing the, the Israelites through the Red Sea, uh, the rescuing, um, um, you know, various, various, again, Old Testament stories. Uh, he started the week, though, with the rescue story. And that is what Jesus did. Um, Jesus said the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. And that was me. And that's you. Because without him, we're lost. He came. And the rescue, what a miraculous rescue. Planned before the foundation of the world. He had you in your mind, in his mind. And planned to come at the expense of his own life. To die for our sin. Jesus also said this. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to be great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Again, pointing back to his, his death on the cross, paying for our sin. Now, he was talking to his disciples who were going, I'm number one, I'm number one, no, no, I'm number one, oh yeah, you know, they're like, who's the greatest, who's the greatest? And, and that's, this is when he, he's like, you know, unbelievers think about power positions. Not so with you. Use your influence, your resources, your life to serve. He was the ultimate example in serving humanity by dying for us. But we as believers in Christ are called to serve. And one thing, again, I like about the mission serve, it's not just about somebody now has a, a handicap ramp. But encouraging us to say, here's why. This is why we serve. You, you probably noticed there was, a, there was, looked like an interview or something like that going on that was videoed as a video of a video happening. But uh, a news crew coming to find out why. Why are you guys, why did you guys spend almost $300 to come here? You know, why did, why did, why are you like sweating all day long instead of like what, what most people are doing in the summer and just having a good old time and all, that was a good time. Um, because we have someone who served us. How could we not serve? And so I want to encourage, you know, we as a church, there are opportunities to serve as well as there's opportunities to serve, but we don't know about. If you know about them, let us know. Year after year, I've come with, our, with this and just saying, we can't serve if we don't know. There's a physical need that could lead to a spiritual need. So please let us know, not just for the youth, but for our church to serve our community. And have the opportunity to share our Christ with people. So I encourage you. But if you ha do not know our Savior, He came to seek and to save you. I'd like to close us in prayer. And then after we'll be dismissed. But I'm going to ask, you know, those who are on, on the trip to be up here, if you want to come and encourage them, um, you know, and, and just uh, uh, to share again, as you've shared so much throughout this past year. But let's pray. Uh, and then, and actually Doug's going to lead us in singing. And then we'll go, Jesus, I thank you. And, and, and I thank you for the opportunity we've had. I thank you that, again, it, it's not about what we did. It's about what you did. 
And so, Father, this is not about patting ourselves. We went on this trip, look what we did. But, but it's, it's again to point to what you did, that it is to you be the glory, not us. Because you're the one that did great things for us. And so, Father, as, as, as we close in prayer um, and, and close in praise and, and just singing that, that, you know, to you be all the glory, that we will see the opportunities of service, not to point people to point and say, oh, you're such a nice person, but oh, no, you must serve a great God. And we can be your hands and feet to this community. I pray in your name. Amen. Doug, would you lead us? Let's stand. When I was picking this song for us to do, I had no idea how good it was to do it with their service. Uh, it's the second verse of for he alone is worth. So let's sing that. Thank <laughs> you.